The goal is to change the odds for 13-year-old Pike and anyone else looking for a matching donor. Now, not much happening here at the church just now, but we'll obviously see more people in a few hours. We do want to show you the signage we're seeing out here out front of the building, though, referencing that event that's happening later. As of now, though, only about four out of ten patients find a matching donor. Now that Pike Peterson has been declared in remission, the cancer fight isn't over. He still needs to find a match. Later today, the Park City's Baptist Church, along Along with the Earl Young's team are hopeful for the future. They've partnered together to host this drive to register new potential bone marrow and blood stem cell donors for Pike and others who find themselves in a similar situation. Men and women from ages 18 to 55 are welcome to participate. The event starts at 930 and will go until 3 p.m. It's not only about me to get a donor. There can be so many people around the world that get a donor for my drive. And that is just something to be really thankful for. And Robbie, it's important to note that this testing is needle free and it's very quick. Typically, the way it works is a cotton swab will be used to swab your cheek for a few cells and that will be tested at a lab. Then the doctors would follow up if you are a match for Pike or any other person who may be in this situation.